Hey everyone, it's Vanessa. Listen, I've got a great video I want to share with you. I want to talk to you about the power of believing in yourself. I was, um, what do you think of my hair, by the way? I just got it dyed blonde. This is part of the story. Part of the story. So I'm in Encinitas getting my hair done. And um, I'm sitting there in the hairdresser. And I grab a magazine, right? Because when you're getting your hair done, when you're getting your hair dyed, it takes like five hours. So anyway, so I'm getting my hair dyed. Grab this magazine. And... Uh, Who's on the cover? Mr. Tony Robbins himself, right? And he's talking, this is the most confident man in the world. And I'm reading all about Tony Robbins, how he built this. You know who Tony Robbins is. He's like the most famous, you know, most highly paid personal development guru in the world. And how he's made his entire business, this whole huge production, teaching people how to believe. How interesting teaching people how to believe how interesting so you all know that I teach women entrepreneurs how to make more money in their business and it really all boils down to this I teach a lot of people just mindset and I want to show you here in my house I have a few of these reminders everywhere but this is my favorite one it says all things are possible if you believe and it might sound like really just so cliche you know like Okay, believe in yourself. Well, this is, you know, believe in yourself. But I want to talk to you today about how to actually believe in yourself. How do you actually believe in yourself? Because I get this question a lot. People are always like, oh, the law of attraction. I saw your video, Vanessa. You know, how do you, how do you make this stuff happen? You know, how do I attract more clients with the law of attraction? It's not really the law of attraction. It really is, the better, the better question is, how do you make your mind believe that you already are the things that you want. How do you make your mind believe? How do you make your subconscious mind believe that you already are the things that you are wanting? Because the sheer idea that you want something means that you don't have it, that you, you are lacking it. So let's back it up here, right? Thoughts become things. They've proven this now with quantum physics. We have a subconscious and a conscious mind. Some would argue, one of my favorite authors, Neville, would argue that the entire Bible is about the conversation between the conscious and subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind is what creates your reality. So how do you impregnate into your subconscious mind the thoughts and the images that you want? Because that is what will outplay into physical reality called your life. And I can tell you now, after doing this successfully myself and teaching other people around the world how to use the power of their mind, that it, act, it absolutely is the only thing that matters, believing in yourself. So here's how you actually, here's how it actually works. I would show you my journal, it's upstairs. I'm not gonna bring it upstairs, but. So your subconscious mind is open to, uh, is open to receive when the conscious mind is is not active so right before, right when you wake up and right before you go to sleep that's when you want to that's when you want to install into your subconscious mind your subconscious mind is like a recording device it just records and it plays back on the outer filter called reality or our life so you were seven years old, for example, and your parents told you, you're stupid, you can't do that, you're never gonna succeed. That got recorded. And, and, and maybe that's still playing out right now. Oh shit, yeah. So I can tell you if there's anything in your, in your life that you, that, you, that you want that you don't have, it's because of a thought or a playback, a decision that's just playing back that has not been taken out and replaced with a new belief. So how do you actually, how do you actually, number one, become conscious, become aware of those thoughts that are those negative loops? That's the first question. The second question is how do you get rid of them and how do you install a new thought or belief that says, I absolutely can have everything that I want. I am totally worthy and deserving of extreme wealth, joy, or romance. I am successfully running my own multi-million dollar business. 
Those are some of the ones that I've been saying. And I gotta tell you what, my life has taken off in the last two years. I've gotten engaged to an amazing man. I live in a beautiful 4,000 foot home on a golf course. I drive a fantastic brand new BMW. I, I have more money than I've ever had in my life. My business is fucking booming. I get to inspire people with this amazing wisdom. And that's why I'm so excited to share with you that it really only comes down to belief. And if you can get this, you can have anything you want and everything. So in the morning and in the night, just before you go to bed, right before you wake up, your subconscious mind is open to suggestions. And these words, I am, I am, I am wealthy, I am successful, I am, I am, I am, whatever you put after the words I am, you vibrate as and you become. You know, I am. So, so these, these sentences, these affirmations that you can create that already assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled, those are the kinds of things that you want to install into your mind. When your subconscious is, is, is open, right? You can slip it in there right in the morning. So for example, I wake up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Yes, I'm awake. My brain's still kind of foggy asleep. I get in my bed and I start these I am affirmations. I am totally worthy and deserving of extreme wealth. I am, you know, I am prosperous. I am happy and healthy. I'm in the best physical, emotional, mental, financial shape of my life. <clears throat> when I wanted to attract Alex, I am, I am happily engaged to the man of my dreams by XYZ date. Right? And, and over and over and over and through repetition and loop and loop and loop. And then I would wake up in the morning and I actually read my affirmations out loud. I say them out loud. I, I, I reverberate the power of the spoken word hits, you know, your, your words have power. They, they carry vibrations and, and hearing you speak them, your brain is like, yeah, well, I can have that. Yeah. It's totally, pfft. yeah, it's no big deal. Maybe at first when you're saying some of these, you know, saying some of these, I'm totally worth of extreme wealth. Oh my God. That brings me pictures of like yachts and shit. Now I'm like, yeah, I can totally have it. Yeah. It's okay. It's not, a, there's no, it's not a far, there's no, there's not a far, it's not a far thing anymore. It's, it's close. It's like, yeah, it's totally okay. I can totally have that. Yeah, it's normal. So through this repetition, your subconscious gets programmed. That's why in school, when you're a kid, they make you draw the alphabet, like, you know, 50,000 times until you get it. This is how you impress your subconscious mind. It's through repetition. And this is why my clients are able to make phenomenal leaps in their income because I work on the mindset. So I've just given you the recipe here, guys. And I really, this is really how you believe in yourself. It's like taking a shower. You have to do it every single day. You can't do it on Mondays and Thursdays. You're going to smell bad, right? You've got to be impregnating your subconscious mind every single day. You've got to be telling yourself thoughts that are, that are happy thoughts. And you've got to be, you've got to love yourself enough to stop, stop when your mind's going on this crazy trip about hating that person or beating yourself up because you didn't do this or whatever crazy story that's got you feeling crazy. I mean, sometimes <clears throat> I know you could, you could work yourself up into a frenzy, into a crazy, stupid frenzy. It's a story. Why are you beating that bush? Like, let it go, man. Unless you, of course, want to create that crap again and start telling yourself a new story. To ignore completely, ignore completely what is showing up in your physical reality and go within and imagine a new reality. Imagine, this is the, this is the next part. It's the words, the I am affirmations that brings your vibration to the I am having it now I am in the present tense having this thing having this experience now and close your mind and see yourself be in the vision of having it now and see through the eyes I'm already in for example my house in Hawaii I, I, I've been there I've seen the house I'm buying this house I am sitting in on the patio, and my my vision is the mountains with a little papaya tree over there because I've got these tall papaya trees, and my feet, my little toenails, my little red, you know, toenails, they're kicked up on the table, and I'm eating papaya, and I'm tasting the papaya, and I'm seeing the mountains in that house. 
That is where, that is the state that I put myself in. If you look at Tony Robbins, what do you do? He teaches people how to believe. How do you believe? I just share with you the recipe, guys. And the secret is not knowing the recipe. As I bet you, this is nothing new. I bet you everything I've told you today, not much of it is new. You might already know it. The challenge I'm inviting you is to actually do it. To love yourself enough to do this every single day. I guarantee your life is going to change. I love you. Again, this is Vanessa Simpkins from TakeYourPowerBackNow.com. I hope you're taking up my challenge. And, uh, and then send me an email or reply here below this video and let me know the things that you are manifesting, guys, because you're all conscious creators. And I believe in you and you can do this. And I love you. Have an amazing day.